have two words for you before we move away from this EPL balderdash. One, the EPL nowadays does not have time. Mm -hmm. That's what's mm -hmm. most important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two, beating Ipswich does not buy you much time. Yes. There are teams when you beat don't buy you time. <laughs> so it's they have yeah. Ipswich, those ones, they don't, you have to have a big win, like yeah. against Brentford or against Newcastle. For yeah. them to say, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Everyone, eh, Ipswich have won zero games in the season. So you beating them is not really a yeah. big thing. Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, if you've only won one game out of all those, then getting your second victory, I think it's nice. It, it, Again. it brings the feeling of this is a team that direction and also for the executives man you you did the, the job of sacking david moyes you cannot sack him now after Why only not? after only eight games i saw a start somewhere he's who has a worse start i think he might have not mm -hmm. i don't know that it was him there's someone who had a worse start than uh no i think it's the guy at palace who had a worse start than the uh, frank de boer yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah. when such stats are thrown at you yeah uh things happen and mm -hmm. this was time you're saying come on they cannot do it i hasten to remind you they have done it before they have looked at they have looked at the coach and said we really like you and what we think you could do performing. but uh, hold up uh, where is the phone mm. mr david moyes <laughs> 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 we have a conversation <laughs> it's happened before yeah, yeah. and i am willing to put a wager on okay david moyes is in the premier league before february next year me too I am willing to put money on it. Already he's being linked heavily to another of his favorite coaches. Because hmm. Sami has got favorite coaches. And you know the coach. He's no. being heavily linked to it. He's been linked to it. Uh, the Palace job. He's already okay. been linked to the mm. Palace job. Because mm. they're like... Mm, now. Mm, Not looking good. Eh? Maybe we need a stable pair of hands. And by the way, speaking of a stable pair of hands, today is someone's birthday. I told you there must be something yes. I'm remembering. Yeah. Some other dice. Ah, he's turned 70 big today. Sam. Ah, 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 yeah, big Sam. Yeah, seventh floor. That's, mm. that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. Seventh floor. Yeah, seventh floor. Like, no, no, story of ended. Eh? Yes, well, eh? Chenga, like, the, only, the only the only English manager with a hundred record. Because <laughs> only managed one game. <laughs> yeah. Imagine those guys like Sheikhs and they were yes. investigative journalists. Mm. Okay, well, uh, interview uh, okay. Sting ben operation. Rus. Yes. Akakubali Akampeana mazi Alafi ah. kani, kani kwa hivi kwa gazeti Yote big 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 The big rest is big, big history yeah. Yeah. So like I was saying was, So I was trying to remember what is it I knew today had to have a date So one is that big sum The second one is today is the 35th anniversary I think Of hold up let me find it on this my smartphone I've been told to use a smartphone is good Um where where no i retweeted it hold up sorry i am delaying all of you but i, no, okay. I need to do this uh, on this day 38 years ago mr samora Machel ah, was killed oh yeah the, i think it's one of Mozambique. his it's his son his son who shared yeah. something online mm. today yes mm. so that's why so i knew there were things today and the last one is arsenal fans look away now mm. on this day Eight two no six one no hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really not Arsenal fans. Let's yeah. put it this way on West uh, Everton fans. Yeah. On this day, 22 years ago, a 16 year old Wayne Rooney announced yes. himself to the oh, world that screamer. with that screamer against the Arsenal. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah, that's, that ends yeah. my, my history. Uh, nice today in history. history. My history. Yeah. Today in history. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Anyway, now that you're in history, bit, let's finish up with the English so that we can go away. They appointed Thomas Tuchel. Mm. I am sure you've seen the noise around Thomas Tuchel. Why? I think it's comical. I, and, and I think it's. <laughs> First, it's comical because weren't they, wasn't it the same federation that was also targeting Pep at one particular point? And everyone was going, uh, oh, let home to, let home to, let home to. And then now, because it's, may I think, me, kuna, kuna, maybe there are some issues people have with Thomas Tuchel. Ile time alikuwa Chelsea. I think so. I think, think it's, so? That, I think it's that, yes. that, 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 like this. Because it doesn't make sense. It is double standards. Everyone, like all the legends, like mm. oh, street what kind of streets, what streets, this and stuff. Then the, all the big guns came out, yeah. Harry Redknapp, Gary Neville, everyone, everyone, and their dog, everyone. Oh, this is not good. What does it mean for English? What are uh, good oh, people? Yes, uh, if Pep would have gotten that job, who, in my opinion, is a better upgrade compared to Tuchel, but Tuchel is better than the English coaches we have. That's a sad reality. Uh, you, you, you get it because. And I, I don't this understand this stuff coming out of England because at some point in time, eh, uh, the English Premier League has only three English coaches. And they are not like pulling wonders. Eh? Mm -hmm. They are not like, uh, ah, 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 it should have been this one, should have been this one. Anyway, which English coach has been linked to this job? The guy at Newcastle? Who 
confirmed he yes. was never interviewed. Mm. He confirmed he was never. But, yes. but 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 I'll take that with a pinch of salt. Mm. No, he probably if he was, he'd have said it. He'd have said it. I actually, yeah? think he said it to be very clear. I yeah. was never yeah. interviewed. Mm. And then, funny enough, uh, England under foreign coaches, say for Southgate, tend to perform. I'm told the cricket coach right now is, is not English. The rugby coach is not English. <laughs> no, the rugby coach is back to being English. Oh, the previous one but probably. Yes, yes. The previous one was not English. Mm. So, uh, yes, England has only had three English coaches, uh, three foreign coaches, the football team. Mm, Sven, Capello. Capello, and there's one more, I'm told. Mm -mm. It's Sven the, and Capello. Two. Oh, this yeah. is the third Sven one. Sven was yes. the first one, then Capello, Capello and yeah. then Tuchel the third. Then Tuchel, yeah. He's the third. So, uh, I think he's... Because Pep is on contract until the end of the season. Yeah. Uh, he could probably be an upgrade. But I don't get the flack on him. That, that That's just what I'm wondering. Why, why the flack on this guy? Mm. When England themselves are not quite world class. The last time they won a trophy, I think I was not born. No, you yeah. weren't. Yeah. So, so, so why, 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 why all these all issues, Ula Balu, as Bernard says, about this Tuchel? Instead of rallying behind him. Listen. If Karaga is making a lot of noise or Gary Neville is making a lot of noise, if it was Pep, he wouldn't have been making a lot of noise. That's so he has sure. an issue with the, the man person. and the nationality and not the fact that he's foreign. They just hide him below that foreign umbrella. That's my take. Oh well I agree on with, with that take that probably it's not the double standard between Pep and, and, and Tuchel because I mean it's overwhelmingly that Pep will definitely improve this team. He's the best coach we have right now. So I think everybody would be fair enough to accept Pep as their head coach and he would deliver that trophy. I think for for what the FA wanted, they wanted a guy that's got that ability to win trophies with the domestic in the domestic league and internationally. At this moment in time, with the English coaches there is none in that picture that has done that. So what's the next option? Get the next best guy. And if Klopp is not available and Pep Guardiola is not available, then Thomas Tuchel is there. And he's done it at Chelsea. You've seen it. He's done it uh, at Borussia Dortmund. You've seen it. Every development he's had it Stutt with Stuttgart, he's done it. So bring him on and let's give him a chance to win it. The reason they are fighting is, one, um, he's German. Mm. Now, there's a historical... Yeah gremlins beef. you guys call it in mm. a, yeah beef uh, england and germany uh, that's why they really the old enemy mm. england so i think that's one of it the daily mail it's like a ugandan coach being in charge of harambe stars yes the daily mm. mail went is it the, the mail or the mirror one of them went ahead and had that picture of of, of comparing it to the hitler ages that's very, that was very mm. distasteful that was yeah. Yeah. i sent it to you yeah yeah, yeah. yeah the, one of the real? papers yeah that's very there's a story yeah. today on the Guardian. Very today. Yeah. There's a story today on the Guardian. Someone has done a story. Banironi has done a story about that article. Mm. Saying the way what that article may have meant or not meant. So I think that's the first beef. Secondly is the argument of no foreign coach has ever won the World Cup. Mm, okay, yeah. And I think only one Euro has been won by a foreign coach. Yeah. Mm. The one by my Greece. favorite coach. Yes, mm. King Otto. Otto <laughs> Rehagel. Euro 2004. Yeah. With Greece? Yeah. Yes, with oh, Greece. Okay. There were 80 to 1 odds. I remember. To win, yeah. To win. They had never won a game at the Euros. Then they went and they won. That yeah. was not even the gist. They beat France and Portugal en route. Oh, yes. And France yes. and Portugal were looking at Boomer. As Zizou backed France. Yes. No jokes. There were those men who were not playing. I normally yeah. use that example to tell people in life everything is possible. Yes. I just can't believe Greece beat France. Mm. In the quarters of the Euros. And they beat Portugal. And twice. Marambil. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Harry Stairs, yeah. Angelo, mm. 66th, 66th minute header, if I'm not mistaken. So that's one of the arguments. So they're like, no one wins this thing with foreign coaches. It has to be a local coach. The third one, I think, is the biggest. The English simply believe we are England. We are the Premier League. We cannot get a coach from elsewhere. Why? We should have one of our own. It is this incredible sense of belief in your own. It's almost delusional. Because you guys are talking about English coaches. Who's the best English coach? Right now? But yeah. Statistically. Right now it's Eddie Howe. But why is Eddie Howe even the best coach around? What's he done? Yeah, what, yeah. what, what does he yeah, done? That's the for problem. Him? That's the problem because when... I'll you go think with Southgate as the best coach. I, I, I think he's done mm -hmm. something with the English team. Yeah, as the the best. So, no, okay. Let let me rephrase it. As the best option away <laughs> from Southgate. Oh, from Southgate should yeah. be oh, Eddie, Ooh, Eddie, Eddie Howe. Yeah. It's yeah. Eddie Howe. What's he done? Nothing. He, he hasn't done anything. That's the, that's the problem now. Who is the last English coach to win the Premier League? Wow. I don't know whether... 
I know the name. Do I remember? It's Howard Wilkinson something of the sort. Uh, it might be Howard Wilkinson. That would be 92. Yes. With yeah, because Fuggy yeah. Scott, right? Fuggy Scott. Oh. Um, I was trying to wonder whether who won it with the... Uh, it was Kenny Douglas, eh? Who won it with Blackburn? With Liverpool. Uh, no, with Blackburn in 95. Mm-hmm. It might be... It might have been Douglas. Douglas is English? Yes, he's English. No, he should be Scott. Um, it might oh. be... It might I think be, he's... He, I think he sounds like oh, a Scott. Yeah, he sounds like a Scott. It, it, it might be Blackburn. Uh, it might be Black. Let me see. It might be. It might be. Been in charge. I, I, I was thinking about it. But, 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 but you, 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 you're stressing the point enough that uh, English coaches have not performed. Yeah, they. they we they have to don't. scratch our heads to come up with these answers. They don't. Like they really don't. They really don't. Uh, yes, Kenny Douglas was. I think he was the coach. Yes. And then he moved upstairs. Now Kenny Douglas sounds very Scottish. Mm. It is Scottish. Yes. Scouser. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that a derogatory term? Mm-hmm. Scouser. Scouser. No, Scouser yeah. is Liverpool. It's someone from Liverpool. Okay. They're oh. called the Scouser. Is it right? Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. Yes. So you are you are Wayne Rooney, Jamie Carragher mm-hmm. with the Scouser accent. Yeah, this, this <laughs> one's, this one's. So I, I don't get it to be honest, yeah. but I just think it's that thing. We are English. We must have an English guy. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter who. So you ask them who? Eddie Howe. Hey. Who? Frank Lampard. Hey. Who? Steven Gerrard. Hey. Who? Roy Ho- hey. yeah, Okay, Dan McKenna. Now what is Kieran McKenna done? <laughs> yeah, okay. But if they were to give anyone based on success in recent past, mm. please give it to David Moyes. He's the last English coach to win anything. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Moyes is Scott. Yeah, he's oh, also he's Scott. Scott. Yeah, he's also Scott. Yeah, he's also Scott. Yeah, he's also Scott. Because so, I, I I remember when he left Everton for Man United. Uh, oh, oh, ni afaka sana mcheza kinyumbani. Hapa hapa huyu mtu ni aka mtu ni aka Kamega na ameleta mtu aka Kamega hapa. <laughs> okay, to ask this question because it seems like you're reading it from the point of outrage that they haven't got their man in yes that's all okay mm. wh- what if they're asking what is this fa coaching party producing yeah that is a different question okay from the coach so mm. get thomas to yeah. then turn around and ask fa mm. why are you not getting as a new coach mm. why isn't england producing young coaches mm-hmm. start calling what did a long thread yeah about it mm-hmm. when you have time find it a long thread where he spoke about the costs for doing the course in england versus the course in germany versus the course in spain the how come we are not getting producing coaches into a, a lot of it to do with money mm-hmm. money and also players that players are getting chances very early at a high level mm. and he gave the, he went by the way he went he said look at wayne rooney look at lampard look at gerard did they go through the studying did they go through the steps to become a big coach mm. but they got the opportunities too early mm. and they were not ready so he had a very interesting argument about it mm-hmm. so i agree there is a question yeah just like we asked how come the english for all their greatness in football have only one black referee oh, center yeah. referee mm. yeah, it makes no sense whatsoever yeah so it's the same question for a team that is supposedly the best league in the world, everything is the best, 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 best there. Mm. Why can't they produce coaches? Mm. Why is it their best is Eddie Howe? Mm. Yeah. And, 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 and Roy Hodgson and, and, and Gary uh, O'Neill. McKenna and Gary O'Neill. How can those be their best guys? Mm-hmm. Mm. In fact, this Gary Neville who he ups about every day on... Uh, cho- uh, remember Mourinho telling me coaching is much more than just showing us diagrams this player should have yes. been here pointedly because when he was in charge of Valencia, he lost five games on the trot and was sacked. Yes. And that was his only coaching job. Mm-hmm. Yes, and he actually says, I would never, I should never have taken it. I never wanted to do it. It's not really my calling. Mm. I went into it and then I realized by the way, it's worse than I thought. But he keeps on like telling us oh, this coach should have done this. Mm. You know, punditry and, 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 and coaching is a different ball game. I, I am of a slightly different yes. argument to that. Yeah. You can be a great pundit without necessarily having been a coach Very or true. having played. Very yeah. true. The, my only that's why I'm saying this fight is not about punditry. This fight is about we are English. Yeah. We have to have an English coach. And that's why mm. I think I agree with what Kolima had said. It mm. is the person. Because if it was you mm. touched on it earlier when you said mm. if it was Klopp 